In the last video, I showed you how to embed videos inside of Google Slides. And today, I'm going to be showing you how to change some settings inside of your embedded videos. Hey guys, welcome back to Google Tutorials, where we give you the best tips and tricks to grow your confidence online. If you're new here, please consider subscribing since we've got a ton of content to help you grow your confidence and impact online. So once you've embedded your video inside of Google Slides, a navigation bar will be opened on the far right hand side, and this is called Format Options. But if this doesn't open up, all you need to do is make sure that the video is selected and click Format Options at the top. And inside of here, you've got quite a few options. So let's start off with the video playback. Inside of video playback, you have the ability to decide how the video plays. So do you want it to play when it's clicked, automatically, or manual? On click means that when the presenter clicks on the next slide, the video will start playing. Automatically means as soon as this slide is presented, the video will automatically start playing. And manual means that the person presenting has to actually click the video in order for it to play. And underneath this, you've got two options, start at and end at. This is a basic cropping tool that you have built into Google Slides so that if you want to actually just choose a specific segment of the video or you want to crop out the start and the end of the video, you can do so. So let's say I wanted to, the video to start actually at 30 seconds. All I'd need to do is just click that and the video will play from that part on. And underneath this, you've got a few options such as the ability to change the size and rotation if you wanted to. And you've also got the ability to change the position. But to be honest, you wouldn't really be using these options very frequently. And then the final option inside of here is the ability to add a drop shadow. A drop shadow will add a shadow to your video. You can adjust the distance, you can adjust the blur radius, which is basically how blurry the video is going to be, the angle of the blur, as well as how transparent it is but you also have the ability to change the color of this. So if you head on up to the top right of this section and click on the color, you have the ability to choose any of the colors and even create your own custom one. And adding our drop shadow can be used to add some depth and to make your video stand out from the rest of the presentation. But how do I make my presentation stand out even more? Well, I'd recommend adding clocks and countdown timers. 